All right, today we're going to repair the tea fowl vegetable steamer. Uh, it says Steam Cuisine 600 on it, and basically the problem is there is a pathetic amount of steam coming out. Uh, it's basically doing something, the light uh, comes on when we try it, but there is very insufficient steam to actually cook the vegetables. So we're going to take it apart, show you how to do that, fix it, and then we'll show you it working again. So if I was to turn it upside down, you see this particular one is a model uh, 3663 and the six screws you have to remove, one, two, three, four, with a, oh, the wrong one, with a Phillips type head, which is like that, and two, which are in here, one, two, which have, let's see I'll take these out already, which have, this hexagonal type head, so you need a hex key or a little screwdriver and a set with that sort of hex key drive on it. Having removed all those six screws, you can then take the bottom off the unit. It's a very simple uh, way that it operates. Mains electricity comes in here. By the way, make sure you uh, unplug it before doing all this. Stop yourself getting electrocuted. Uh, but the live wire goes through a little timer switch uh, comes out, close the light, goes through a connection point. Uh, oh, hang on, no, the live goes through here, sorry, through this wire, goes through this thermal switch, connects to one end of the heater, goes through the heater. This is a uh, loop that has uh, a heater element on one side, washer on the other. Uh, the other end goes round here through another thermal fuse to the check connection and back where are we nice right, and back to the other side of the main supply uh, so i suspect what's happening is that uh, it's all calcified up too much so of course you could put some decalcifying agent some acid into the unit to try and clear it out but often when these things are very calcified up the paths are blocked so the uh, water decalcifying solution can't actually get to the bits that need decalcifying so we have to take it apart and fix it. Uh, so you see these tubes fairly easily come off. Uh, you need a uh, pair of glass so you just squeeze these tags together. Let's just uh, get in there. squeeze these tags together, lift up the clip then the tubes with a bit of a hole there we go. Uh, pull off like that. So basically remove uh, these four clips, remove the two tubes and then have a look at the insides. And here we go with the tubes removed and I can actually already clean these out. But the way to do it is uh, poke through something like a uh, coat hanger wire, long screwdriver and you'll see these tubes. You can see in there just about maybe there's a little spring in there which tries to uh, make sure that the tube doesn't collapse. You can see it more plainly on this one. Uh, so what you need to do is poke like a long screwdriver or something down through the tube, poke it both ways. Uh, you could try and pull out the spring. So here you see the springs poked out the end. Pull it out and you'll probably find lots of crud will come out. And underneath there's a pile of uh, calcified rubbish that's come out of it. Uh, similarly, through the heating element coil, see, so get a bit of old wire, uh, something that's going to bend a little bit, maybe an old coat hanger might get around, although it's probably a little bit stiff. Let's see if you can poke it through a bit, give it a good scratch, make sure the path is open, do it both ways until you can get the wire poking through, then you know at least you've got a uh, pathway through the heating element, and it's not drastically blocked. I want to turn it up, get a knot, get the calcium out of it. And also, critically, look at where the steam output is produced down this tube here. And on mine, what was happening was this tube was pretty uh, clogged with calcium, and all that calcium was being pushed into the output tube. And there was big lumps of calcium, which I managed to get out, you see here. These big lumps, which were completely, well, virtually completely blocking the output tube quite hard bits of calcium. So knock those out with a screwdriver. There's no valve or anything on this one. You can put the clear output. You might want to take off this little shroud. 
just to make sure that you get a completely open path so where the steam comes out. So that's the typical problem. Do all that and your steamer should be working at top efficiency then. I'll uh, show that in a minute. Uh, just to make sure that everything else is correct, get yourself a multimeter, put it on resistance scale, and we can measure whether the heating element is working or not. So the heating element uh, comes through here. There's a convenient point to measure it. There is the other side. Oh, I was going to do this one-handed. On both sides of the heating element, measure the resistance. Uh, we've got about 60 ohms, which is fine. Uh, you could, if you fancy it, just plug it in very briefly. Don't touch anything. Give it about 10 seconds, unplug it. This should be very hot. And you should hear it heating up, which also shows the heating element is working and the timer is working. Obviously you've got to turn on the timer to make it work. Light should come on. Uh, if the heating element isn't working, um, then obviously you could try replacing this. Get a spare part from TFAL, but it's probably not worth repairing it. And nobody could be bothered decalcifying these things. Uh, you always assume it's going to work and uh, only do something about it when it doesn't work, which is what we've done now. So a reassembly is a straight reversal of disassembly and then we'll test it. Uh, you might like to decalcify it as well at the same time. Make sure that it's something that uh, is not poisonous and try and give it a good flush out afterwards uh, to do that because on the input side You've got a little one-way valve. You'll have to squirt water down into the input side. Check this filter isn't blocked, by the way. So that little, that little filter lifts out. That is where the water should go in. And you see a little ball that bobs up and down in there. Uh, make sure that's not blocked as well. But if you squirt, squirt water in there until you get water coming out of here, that's a good way of flushing out your decalcifying solution. So let's go and see if it works. So this is how to flush out and check you've got uh, good water flow through your steamer. Put the tap on, put it up to, put it up to the inlet, and you see the outlet should have good flow of water coming out of it. And that's good flushing it. And here you can see it working. There's loads and loads of steam coming out now, whereas before there was hardly anything. So that's another good job done. Okay, thanks for watching and hope that helps somebody with their steam there that's not working very well. Cheers.